God bless you guys. This is Sean here from Faith Brings Change. I just want to come on here and talk to you guys. Uh, I wanted to encourage you guys. Um, I'm sorry. A lot of us, you know, I can't speak for everybody, but I guess for me, you know, uh, you know, I guess having a lot of stuff going on, not been emotionally available enough for people. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been more expressive with the love of God to give you guys and stuff. That Jesus cares about you tremendously. He has an awesome purpose for your life. You're not alone in the world what you're suffering. The persecutions, you know. You're not alone, guys. We we all feel like, in, in our own way, a lot of us feel like we're alone. But you're not alone. You're loved. You have a purpose in the kingdom of God. An awesome purpose. Don't forget what Jesus has done on, for you on the cross. You know, he paid for all your sin. Everything. That whatever was dark in your life, the, the moment you turned from that, you turned back to the Lord, you were forgiven. And seek seek uh, to be close to Jesus, you know. I've, I've talked a lot about the holiness and all these things are true. They're always true. But trust in Jesus. Keep your mind anchored toward him. You know, keep your mind focused on him, guys. You know. When you set your mind on Jesus, the world dims, you know. And so, if you've been like me, if you've been distracted by a lot of the warfare and everything, don't let that distract you from what Jesus Christ has already done for you. He's already saved you who have believed in him. And, and you know, you've given, you've let that go. And if you need to have let something go, just say, Lord, forgive me of this. I'm sorry. I let go of that. I loose that from my heart, you know. We have the power in the name of Jesus to bind or loose anything in heaven, and sometimes we have to open the door of our heart and just let go of those things and maybe just focus on the love of God, what he's done for you guys. And and if you're on Facebook, just withdraw, get alone with the Lord. You you need to be you need to be powered up in the love of God. You've been running so much. You've been all over the place. You've been chasing chasing trying to find peace and jesus is saying that in you in me is peace and i've given you peace i've given you love just focus on me praise me you know i'm good to you i'm good to you i have everything that i'm going to work together that i work together for those who love me says the lord you know and so just keep the simplicity of Christ in your heart, guys. Just keep the simplicity of Jesus and get get away with him, you know, and, and praise him and get some testimony going, you know. They have a lot of wonderful testimonies here on YouTube of what Jesus has done in people's lives, guys. He's done so much, guys. He, Jesus saves. You may not feel like saved. There, there's things that are going wrong. You may feel like everybody's against you, but Jesus is for you. He, he is here to bless you. He's here to help you, protect you, to save you from those things you're praying for him to save you from. Jesus has good things in store, guys. Yes, we're going to be going through, you know, tribulations, you know. But there's going to be a lot of miracles in the midst of that. There's going to be there's going to be things built to multiply food and things and 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 when when people don't have anything, you're going to be the answer to somebody's prayer, guys. And so don't forget, Jesus has sown into you. You're the answer to somebody's prayer. And so, if you're like me, you know you don't feel like you're able to give anything sometimes. But sometimes you just gotta not so much try to focus on the uh, giving part as the receiving first. Receive His love and then just give it to somebody. You know, a kind word, whatever you can do. You know, maybe if if, if you're ordering some food, maybe tip a person extra and then just put in the note, "This comes from Jesus. This is a free gift," and you don't have to say anything and just plant some seeds like that. That would be awesome, guys. Pray for people who need prayer, you know. Let the lost, let the broken ones out there. Let them know that they're loved, they, they're cared for, they got, God has a purpose for them. Let them know if they're isolated, what Jesus has done for them to save them. Let them know that they're not alone in this battle, that, that Jesus, he has angels, he has everybody, and he's going to... 
he's coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, yes. But he's coming back for a unified church. And he he wants us to band together in the love of the Lord. To be to let each other know that he's for us. You know, he's not against us. That he's mighty to save, you know, he's done it, you know, he's he's finished, he said it's finished, you know, and you you trust him and he will keep you daily from those things that would hinder you, take you away from him. He'll keep you from that. Just focus on him, guys. I'm going to get off of here now, guys, but I'm going to try to be more available, more, more open to you guys and try to minister to your needs a little bit better and try to try to, I mean, your needs according to what Jesus is putting on my heart for you guys to encourage you guys. And so I'm sorry if I haven't been available to uh, put more into you guys. I'm sorry if I haven't. There's been attacks in my life, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's about the, the channel. This channel is not about me, but about you guys. And I'm sorry if I haven't been more invested in you guys. But I love you guys, and I am praying for you. Jesus loves you. Cling to him, guys. You know, we're going to shine for the kingdom of God. I love you guys. Praying for you. Until next time, shalom.